Question number four. A rock is thrown upwards from the top of a cliff facing the ocean. The path of the rock is represented by the function. So they give you this function where t is time in seconds and h is the rock height from the sea level. So you're starting from the sea level and then you're going to throw as high as possible. So that represents, but it represents this function. Question A1. Express ht as this. So that means they want you to do completing the square. Okay, only completing a square will give you this format. And yeah, so we'll do that. Question A1. They're right here. A1. So the equation is ht equals to negative 2t squared plus 8t plus 25. Alright. Now, we have to factorize the negative 2 out because we can't do with the negative 2 there. So ht, we're going to factorize negative 2. So you get t squared minus 4. Okay, here's the thing, huh? Um, it is common for everyone to just factorize the whole thing, but I'm only going to factorize the, the first two, okay? The back one here, I'm just going to leave it as it is. I'm only going to factorize the first two because it's actually much easier la, in my opinion, okay? So this is, oh wait, 4, negative 40, okay? So now we can do completing the square for whatever is inside here. Okay, so negative 2, so I get, wait... Um, I write like this. La. T square minus 4T plus negative 4 over 2 square minus negative 4 over 2 square. Then outside here is 25. Okay. Equals to negative 2. So here I can factorize this part. I will get T minus 2 square. Then here you get negative so negative 4 over 2 is negative 2, then you square it, you get 4. Okay, and uh, yeah, so now I can expand this, expand inside. So I get negative 2t two minus 2 square plus 4, eh, sorry, plus 8, plus 25. So answer is negative 2t two minus 2 square plus 33 so this is your answer uh, I mean the format they want lah, right that's how they wanted it yeah so by the way if you want to use the normal way you factorize the whole thing by negative 2 and then you do completing the square you can okay in the end you still get the same answer I just prefer doing this this way so that it's uh, faster for me all right next question a2 hence determine the time and the height when the rock reaches the maximum height so they're asking for the maximum lah, okay so from here from this equation itself we know what is the maximum um, wait question 2 so the maximum will be when t minus 2 equals 0 t equals to 2 so when the time is 2 seconds that's when we get the maximum height and what's the height the height maximum is 33 so maximum height is 33. 33 what? Uh? This one is in... Uh, did they say... Oh uh, yeah, it's in meter. The height is in meter. It's in the question that stated. So 33 meters. Okay. So yeah, that's what the question asks, right? Time and height. Yeah, so this is the answer. These two. Alright, next. B. Find the time when the rock touches the sea level. What does that mean? We know that the function ht represents uh, the function of the height, correct? Relative to the sea level. That means you're starting from the sea level. So if the rock touches the sea level, that means the height, the ht is equals to 0, right? Because you're starting, the function represents the uh, height of the rock starting from the sea level. So if it's at the sea level, that means the height is 0. Lah. So we use back the same equation here. So we get negative 2 t minus 2 square plus 33 equals to 0. So we get 
um, okay so t minus 2 square equals to negative 33 divided by negative 2 so here you can cancel so t minus oh sorry t minus 2 equals to square root 33 over 2 okay so you have to there are two answers huh? because first one is positive second one is negative so let me give okay, it let me write it oops let me erase this so you got more space okay so the first one here we get is t equals to square root 33 over 2 plus 2 this is the first answer you get the second answer you get is t equals to negative 33 over 2 plus 2 okay you should have two answers so the first answer that you will get is 6.062 seconds and the other one will be negative 2.06 uh, seconds so this one you have to ignore because there's no such thing as negative okay so the time they ask to find the time when the rock reaches the sea level it will be this time 6.062 okay yeah so this is your answers